Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is on the sheet, of course, and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft server. Oh yes, I'm in a very, I'm in a very calm mood today. I don't really know why, but I feel like. Oh wait, what was that? I think I heard an Enderman. Blackman, where are you? <laughs> there you are. Give me your Ender pearls. <laughs> No, god damn it, what the fuck did he go? Oh, here he is! Haha! <laughs> you and the paws belong to me. I didn't get 12 of him, of course. Uh, I had like. I think I had 10, so I think I got 2 of him. Uh, but, anyways. Uh, been just uh, like taking care of my place a little bit, uh, fixing up uh, a few things, and also uh, harvesting a lot of stuff and slaughtering a lot of cows and pigs and all kinds of stuff here. Uh, doing uh, basically a little bit of maintenance and earning some and doing some trading with the villagers and stuff like that. And uh, I've been thinking a lot, and I, I read a lot of the comments from the last episode the other day, and uh, it, it seemed like a lot of you guys had a lot of different ideas, uh, but a, a lot of them um, kind of uh, av was around like churches and monuments of sorts, and I saw one comment that I, that I or probably was more than one person who posted this comment, I, I sadly don't remember the name, I'm very, I'm very sorry, my bad, my bad, uh, but... Um, he said something about make a statue of Thor and place it in, and I think that's a pretty good idea actually because I can I can have the I can have the pillars and stuff like that or the pyramid underground and then have the beacon shoot up through something, and I was thinking maybe I would have it shoot up through maybe. Maybe Thor's hammer or something like that? Because I think I can make Thor's hammer pretty easily uh, with a ton of iron and stuff like that. Though I need to get my iron out because I don't really know. I think I got a few stacks of iron blocks or like one and a half stacks. But I don't know if it's actually enough to make an entire Thor's hammer and also make them uh, almost full. And also make the the beacon or the, the pyramid for the beacon because of course I want like a full beacon and also I, I was thinking like I would like to have like a lot of oh, oh wait uh, it's actually full here but I think I can eat two perk shops and, and take up the rest I don't have to throw it away there we go there's a lot of like stuff that doesn't get picked up there who gives a crap who gives a crapper and also I, I couldn't Bear to put in my contact lenses today. Um, my eyes has been been like irritated or was irritated the, the last time I recorded, and uh, I don't I don't want to like irritate them too much. But let, let's check out. I got yeah basically one and a half stacks of iron. I also got a half a stack of emerald blocks. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go put the reeds in here and go harvest the the last weeds while I kind of talk to you guys. <laughs> Forwards and backwards and all kinds of stupid stuff. I shall I'll sing to you the sound of music in oh god go away go away go oh! son of a bitch stupid penis <laughs> damn it always gonna screw with me god damn it he probably was hiding in the in the bushes I guess son of a bitch I don't even know if you guys can see my my expressions and stuff like that now. I hope you guys can sort of at least see them uh, so you kind of understand what I'm saying. And uh, yeah, overall, I got a lot of penis damage all over my place. Oh god, it's, there's holes everywhere that get, needs to be fixed, and it is, there's a hole in my s stable slash uh, cow breeding place too. So I think this episode is gonna be try to be a bit calmer. <laughs> <laughs> I said I said that in the beginning, but it ended up with me almost getting blown the fuck up by a stupid penis uh, pretty quickly. But um, yeah, do doing like maintenance stuff uh, and also kind of figure out. At least first, we're gonna try to do a little bit of maintenance. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like fix the fix the barn. Fi yeah, barn. Barn is a good word. I, I think stable. That's for horses, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Oh, that's easy to acquire. And let's go and actually fix the hole that they. Oh no 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 no! Snake a penis! Don't think so. Uh -huh. 
I don't think so. You better go away, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> I know it's kind of ugly, but that's going to be good enough, because this area is not very, very important when it comes to the aesthetical parts of it. Uh, definitely not, and let's take, I got seven of the spare ones that kind of uh, flung down, uh, yeah, that's that's good enough, I can replant the rest later, oh wait, got another one, oh, <laughs> not really that it matters, but yeah, so, let's eat a little bit, um, nom, 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 and I'm gonna see you guys in a second. I'm gonna have to check out actually how you build the beacon pyramid because I don't really remember to be honest exactly how it is you make it uh, or which dimensions and how many blocks and stuff like that you need because uh, if I just check that out I, I don't have to diddle around and like fail a ton of times and you, you guys don't have to write angry comments saying Angus goddammit you suck! I do have no clue what Minecraft is about! God damn it! <laughs> Generic angry subscriber voice. <laughs> God damn it, Anish! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you, boy, but damn it, you do a lot of mistakes in your videos. That's for spam, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm an angry southerner subscriber with a little bit of black in me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Angry black woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or sassy black woman. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I made fun of Asians so much this week, so I think it's it's black people's turn now. And uh, I basically make fun of white people every day. Every single video I make is a joke towards white people. <laughs> I, I shame my own kind. <laughs> Just like Paul shames his own kind. Uh, Indian. But then again, he kind of looks like a, a, a fat white guy. Just like me. So I don't know. I, I kind of I've kind of started having my doubts about Paul's actually being Indian. I don't know. I, I gotta maybe talk to his mom or something like that and check out if that's it's actually true or if it's making that up for the to to get popular on YouTube. <laughs> that would be so stupid if someone made that up. Oh god. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this a little bit. I I don't know why. I I just felt like fixing a few of these holes right here. Uh, but I'm gonna fix this and also check out uh, the the shape of the pyramid or the shape that the pyramid has to have for it to to work as um, uh, work for the beacon, so to say. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second. Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Andersil, of course, and welcome back. I don't know why I even said that. That's so weird. I should have just said, "Welcome back, guys." <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, as you notice, it is very, very dark, and I'm heading back to my main compound. Uh, my dad actually called me in the middle of looking it up, and it's 164 blocks I need. So I'm pretty much short, and here we go. It's like things are missing from my base, I was just about to say. Uh, so I need a lot more iron, but I do know I got a, a ton of iron actually because I did some caving before this episode, or rather both caving and um, how do you, how do you, what, how do you say it, how, what, what do you call it, oh my god. It's like I'm drawing a blank right here. Oh man, shine of a beach. <laughs> And, oh, mining, mining, strip mining. So I got actually 36 diamonds right now. I uh, got the obsidian I actually need, right? I got more than one. Uh, I had that since before. But I should have a good amount of gold and iron in here. 56. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna... Um, I think that's only like 8, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, hardly even 8. Okay, I was about to fill that hole, but I forgot again that it's water in there and I don't really need to fill it because it kind of looks like an oasis. Uh, and also I'm gonna make all of this like really green and nice later with um, with my silk touch pick. Since I got silk touch picks again, it was very good. Oh god, it was so awesome using the silk touch pick by the way. Uh, when I was uh, caving, because it, it's so much easier than having to carry a ton of coal since I usually go caving with my fortune pick. There we go, something like that. that that's good enough. Uh, but let's actually try to build it here. This is a reasonably flat area, and I'm thinking I would like to have the beacon like going up through it. So maybe if I do it like uh, this. 
first like I'm thinking the hammer should have like uh, the the grip thing like in the bottom and then it should have the shaft that you hold basically like the the thing that that makes sure the hammer doesn't slide out of your hand simply uh, something like this maybe and then the hammer head itself and I'm thinking the hammer head should be about uh, one block th uh, like thicker and about three blocks in a length so let's see how that looks like I don't need to make it like thick over there as well or deep I think check it out how it looks like and uh, I, I don't really know it I, I'm guessing like I'm gonna do the shaft maybe in wood or something like that and maybe uh, oh god that's wrong <laughs> because I was thinking about the wood and uh, do the the hand, the, no, the 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 thing that makes sure you, you don't lose the grip of the hammer, like the the bottom thing, the little thicker part. Uh, I'm thinking I'm, I should maybe do that in stone, like stone bricks or smooth stone, and then the handle like in spruce, and uh, then the hammer itself in iron blocks. And as you can see, it's pretty much even if I do it hollow, it's pretty much gonna be sixty blocks. Yeah, that could actually be be pretty good that's actually not too shabby that actually looks like a goddamn hammer uh, though I think I think the shaft has to be longer though yeah me likey damn that actually looks really good and then I can have the beacon coming up straight through here son of a bitch that is great uh, and what feels so good too is that I, I came up with the hammer thing all by my own like I think that, oh MZ Hello, Mick Gamer. <laughs> Hello, Mick Gamer. <laughs> oh, it's 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 funny. I don't think he really likes being called Mick Gamer, but it's kind of funny f fucking around with the people like calling uh, Freeme, she male, and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I feel really proud because this is one, like one of the first building I, I kind of like came up with the idea for myself uh, or you guys helped me out of course and so one of you guys or quite many I guess said something about like doing monuments and like um, so at least one guy said make a statue of Thor but making a statue of entire Thor would be kind of difficult but just making one out of his hammer is not too hard actually and I gotta say this is though it doesn't look very good like from the front or from the absolute side, I gotta say, uh, I'm not liking it super much like that. But from the side, like this, from from like an angle, it fucking looks awesome. <laughs> I've, I've been seeing so many questions like, Anders, how do you get the bottles of enchantment in vanilla?" Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys just super quickly. Uh, everyone must know by now that you can trade with the villagers and get emeralds. And then all you do is you make sure you you breed the, the villagers until you get a villager that actually sells you bottles of enchantment. Super simple. Uh, he will stop selling it to you like this when you bought too many. Uh, but then uh, basically what I do is I go grab my special pick here. Uh, because if you use the lost alternative, if you check him out like this... You can see that the last alternative is enchanting a diamond pick. Then I just take this pick that that I already enchanted with this guy like 200 times. I enchant it, wait for 3 seconds, 1, 2, 3, until I see him smoking or kind of glowing. And then I can trade with him again. Trade bottles of enchantment again. And you do that over and over again. So every time he stops trading with you, you have to enchant the, the pick again. So it's, it's kind of a pain in the asshole because of that. But... Other than that, it's just awesome. I mean, like, with one stack of emeralds, you, you get basically... And also, about pro tip, uh, don't trade with anyone because uh, that uh, the villagers basically... Oh god, what is what is it called? Uh, an enchanter or a... Not a this is a librarian. What the hell are these guys called? I don't remember, but you need to have these guys with a uh, purple robe. And make sure the guy sells you four bottles for one emerald, because most guys only sell you two or three bottles per emerald. And also the trick is, but you can see, I can make a sword, I can buy Eye of an Ender, I can buy Redstone, I can make a uh, Diamond Sword Enchanter, I can also buy Glowstone, I can also buy Iron Pickaxe, I can also buy Diamond Chestplate Enchantment, I can also buy... 
uh, buy myself. Oh, I should actually in buy that to be honest, because that's actually a good enchantment. Uh, but basically, they have a limit how many things you can actually uh, do, how many different things they will actually sell you. Let's see, one, two. Uh, and you want them to stop on something that's really, really cheap, so you don't have to like spend, uh, for example, pff, I don't know. Uh, so, some guys take like a hell of a lot. Oh no, no, that's not what we want to do. Where the, where the heck did my, did I, did I drop my? Where's the pickaxe? Where's the pickaxe? Pickaxe two. Pickaxe two. Oh, I put it back. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, anyways, yeah, I, oh god, I wasn't even supposed to enchant the pickaxe. <laughs> I'm so derpy right now. Uh, here we go, fortune, so I just put that in there, and here we go, fortune 1 and efficiency 2. Uh, or was I? Yeah, so you want them to start on, uh, stop on something that's very, very cheap, like two emeralds to enchant a pickaxe, and then you're allowed to... Uh, basically trade uh, for bottles of enchantment again, but again, because otherwise you're gonna be spending or rather wasting it. I can give you a good example. This guy, for example, it costs four emeralds to enchant the iron axe and to actually make him sell you bottles again. So this guy sells you four bottles, but it costs you four diamonds instead of or four emeralds every time to be able to trade again, so I don't trade with him, but I'd still keep him if zombies would get in or if that guy would die by mistake, because it's still good to be able to buy four. It's still better to be able to buy four bottles of enchantment instead of two or three for every every emerald, so to say. I hope that's making sense, actually. <laughs> I don't know. It might not even make sense to you. Uh, let's see, do I have any gravel? I was hoping I had gravel. Yeah, I do. Here we go. We're actually gonna do some, some kind of boring stuff now, but uh, I thought I, I'd tell you guys a story, actually. Uh, about me and my very best pal, Michael. <laughs> Uh, me and Michael became friends. Uh, I think I told the story how we became friends, like his mom was my teacher and his mom uh, basically uh, moved him to my school to, to be closer to him and stuff like that. You guys know how moms are. And um, he was the only guy entire in my entire class. It was me, two girls and him, basically. So it's a very, very small school that I grew up going to, like, in elementary school. So we, we became, like, best, best of pals, so to say, and we we loved to play with guns, I mean, like, soft air guns and stuff like that as kids. Uh, but also, oh, damn it, stupid spider, go away. Uh, but also, we yeah, did, we did fish a lot, and we did bathe a lot, and stuff like that, like, like, stuff that dudes do. Come on, damn it, damn it, don't do that. Don't do that. We're gonna use the axe, actually, here. Stupid bow. Fix this, it's ender endermans who've been doing bad stuff here. Uh, but we're actually gonna kind of start making ourselves a little bit of a path here with the gravel. That was what I was planning, at least. Hello there, Sammy. <laughs> did you come from down here? Nope, you did not. Did I even put anything down here? I don't think so. Huge cellarin. Uh Cold storage, basically. Like medieval times. And also been used a, very, a lot lately as well. Uh, it's a popular way of storing your food down in the ground. Because it doesn't freeze during winter. And it doesn't become too warm and like rot during the summer. So it's a great way of actually storing your food but that was not really what this was about uh, we were supposed to talk about the story uh, and uh, what would we love to do was go out and fish and we, we like to fish Jedda and Aborre uh, those are basically two different kinds of fish you can get in Sweden and they're very very common and uh, basically what we did was uh, the Jedda uh, we I actually don't know the, the word for it in English uh, we just usually like gave to his grandmother or uh, the neighbors or they cooked them themselves and like gave it to uh, to the cat and stuff like that. It's n it's not a very good tasting fish, but you you can still make it taste good if if you're if you're a good a good cook cook <laughs> cook cook chef. That chef it's is a better word. There we go. Uh, and uh, as usual, we we took uh, 
uh, as usual. I, I've, I visited him and, and we decided basically what to do. We played a little bit with our guns and stuff like that, but it was kind of bad weather. But, but still, we kind of decided that uh, we, should, we should go do some fishing. Uh, so we took uh, their boat and we, we started going out on the, the little... Not, not ocean, but the, the little lake, basically, where, where he lived, and uh, it, it started blowing more and more and more, and he had one of those little uh, engines that we call utombordare in Sweden. It's basically a small little engine, a petrol engine, uh, that you, that you like, hand crank, you like, wing, 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 like, like that. I, I hope, I hope, <laughs> I hope I made myself understood there. Uh, oh, B-dubs, hello. B dubs, hello B dubs. Always feels like I'm saying hello to some kind of rock star, <laughs> because his name is basically like a rock star name, and also he is a pretty good uh, musician. A musician, as a musician, musician. Oh, I think B dubs brother. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! It's <laughs> out of a bit. God damn it. Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, d- herp derp derp. <laughs> oh, son of a slut bag. <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, where were I? I'm coming over, I have a few questions to ask you if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. Making episode now though uh, be done in a few min. Uh, <laughs> Oh god. No, uh, what I was supposed to say was that B-Dub's brother, he made uh, made like a song about... Uh, uh, not, I was about to say Doc, Doc M, but about um, uh, Kurt, Kurt's dog, uh, Wolfie. And god, it was so good. I mean, it, it seems like like mus- 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 musical talent like runs in their family, so to say. Let's grab some... Oh no! I'm gonna teleport right! <gasps> Oh, that was so lucky that I didn't throw it lower. <laughs> because there's a lot of bad guys over there. Oh, wait, what did, uh, did P-Dub say? No, he didn't answer anymore. There we go. Uh, let's see. I need to get some gravels. Gravels, gravels, gravels. And we need to head back. Yeah, Beef was talking about like how, how, he, how could he ever get by without... Without Ender Pearls before, and that's exactly how I feel. I mean, Ender Pearls. Oh my God, I love them. They are awesome. Ender Pearls are awesome. Ender Pearls are gonna be awesome. Stop. Oh, oh, just a zombie. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a quick 360 before we kill this guy, so we we don't get get uh, killed here straight away. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, we we went out in our boat. <laughs> great, great there, and it's good that you can actually uh, concentrate for once when you're telling a story and actually finish the entire story without getting abrupted. But I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna blame the penis as usual. The, the penis is attacked, and I had to defend myself and scream like a woman. <laughs> tradition is tradition. You cannot screw with tradition. It's never good. Uh, but yeah. Uh, here we go. So we went out anyways, even though the weather was really bad, it was kind of like almost storming outside. Uh, but we thought like, ah, fuck it. Because usually when it rains and it's kind of stormy and stuff like that, fish will bite a little bit easily, more easy. So uh, we have done it before, but this storm was kind of a little bit harder than most other storms. So uh, even w- with the engine, we hardly like moved. And all of a sudden, the engine stalls. <laughs> But we're thinking like, no problem, it, it's an old engine, it, it, it usually stalls, and uh, that, that, that shouldn't be that big of a deal, to be honest, it it, it probably, we, we just start it again, basically, yeah, that's that's what we thought and, and told ourselves, but uh, me and uh, Mikke slash Michael, or Michael, depending on how you want to say it, uh, we had forgot to actually put gasoline in the tank, yeah, herp in a fucking derp derp. 
<laughs> and look at this. <laughs> There's so many penis explosions over here as well when I was building here that <laughs> there's just still holes under the ground. Damn it. <laughs> Need to fill this in. But I should also extract that iron. And uh, not only because you guys would be like, God damn it, if I want to take that iron, it's right there for God's sakes. Uh, and it was only one. Damn it. Uh, but also because I need it. I need it badly to make myself my hammer and stuff like that. So, here we go. I feel like I have not accomplished much this episode, though. I feel like I kind of failed. But I, I really do like it now when it, the, when there's, like, uh, small pathways kind of growing forth and stuff like that. It's kind of... My vision is kind of coming through, if, if you get my drift. And why the heck are there... What the hell? Where's the cobblestone there? I have no clue. Very strange. Very so strange. Okay. No, oh yeah, oh yeah, the the building. Uh, <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. I'm like, oh, what? what is this? What is going on here? Why why is there a sign? I do not understand. I why do I talk in Russian accent? I don't know. I like talk a Russian accent. The Russian accent talking is funny. <laughs> but there's a hole there as well. But yeah, the, the engine cuts out and it was because we forgot to put fuel in it. And um, we basically started drifting further and further out in this uh, this lake. And it's not a small lake. I mean, we were talking about a lake that's several kilometers in the width and stuff like that. So I mean, like, you would never be able to, like, swim over it or anything like that. I still need more. Oh, God. I didn't think I would need more. <laughs> so you can't swim to land. I mean, this was during the summers. So we could have swam to land and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, so, so the engine just doesn't start because we, we don't have any gasoline and we, we can't swim to land or anything like that. So uh, we, we decided that we have to row the boat into land again. And uh, we, the, the, it, it just starts blowing more and more and more and more. And, and we're at this point, we're getting pretty goddamn scared because... We're still kids. I mean, we're like 14, 15, I think, or maybe 13, 14, somewhere around there. Like, so, so we're not old, but we're still not like kids' kids. We're more or less teenagers. And uh, as, as I said, we decide to, to try to, to row in land because we, we don't really have any other choice. We don't have any spare gasoline with us. Uh, we wasn't smart enough to bring a spare tank. We, we actually did that before a few times uh, but uh, yeah we, we, we start rowing and rowing and rowing and for every time you row uh, you basically move <laughs> like half a meter uh, I mean I don't know if you guys know, know what a meter is but that's basically like half a yard and that is almost nothing if you when you're talking about like trying to get somewhere especially on a big lake that is several kilometers basically miles wide and it took us well over one and a half hours to actually row into land again and um, when we get home uh, we're soaking wet and <laughs> his mother is like so scared she actually called the fire department to come rescue us just like 10 minutes before we actually got into land so uh, she first off she has to to call the fire department and call off the rescue so to say and she, she's pretty she's pretty embarrassed over that as well but but she's she's mostly happy that that we're like back in land but then of course when she, she realizes that we're safe then the then the beating starts. I was about to say, but but, but the, then the the screaming starts. Like, God damn it, Michael and Anders, are you are you stupid or what? And we're like, Hell yeah, we're stupid. No, that's of course not what we said. We we <laughs> that's of course not what we said. What what else? Oh god. And she, she's of course extremely angry, and like like most moms, she got extremely, of course, super scared for our safety. I mean, we're talking about some some pretty pretty windy stuff here. I mean, it, it wasn't like some some very small little little storm, but but this was actually a, a pretty powerful one. Like the the I don't know the wind speeds might have been like. 
20 meters a second or something like that. I, I don't think it was like super huge. I and mean, what the hell is going on with, with that piece of <laughs> that piece of sand? Oh my gosh, stupid sand! Uh, but there we go. Kind of got a few a few things done. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I think I'm gonna make a, a small little pathway up here as well. But then again, I don't have enough. I think right now to do that. But um, can finish it later, I guess. There we go, something like that. And it's gonna be like a block there, 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 and there. So you can kind of go quickly and stuff like that. But I, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm sorry if it's not like a super interesting episode or anything like that, but but I hope it's it's been entertaining as usual. And I, I got I feel like I got some stuff done, uh, but I do need to get a hell of a lot more iron here though to actually make the Thor's hammer. And kind of let me know. I'm I'm pretty set on doing the Thor's hammer, but I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. So I mean, like if you guys have any better ideas, or if you think the Thor's hammer is like a great idea, please tell me so I kind of get a little bit of feedback. It, it's always nice to to get a little a bit of feed feedback, feed not back feedback. <laughs> oh, damn it, I'm failing. <laughs> Trying to jump up here again, but I think that's gonna be looking really good, and especially since I'm mining a lot right down here, like in the little hole I showed you guys earlier. I think this is gonna be be pretty good. Yes, indeed. Yes, like Kurt Mack would say. Yes, indeed. So as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Okay guys, B00 is on his way over here and since I know there's been a lot of fishy business going on on the server lately, I, I thought I'd, I'd start recording uh, and make sure to to record a little bit for my own safety, so yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when he's here and we're we're talking and stuff like that, so see you guys in a sec. Now enough with the niceties. Okay, All right. I knew this, this was uh, coming. Let, let me ask you this. Okay. Does this look familiar to you at all? Yes. It does. It's TNT. Okay, are you... F I didn't see your fingerprints on it, but is this... you have anything to do with any of this? Nope. You sure? Yep. <laughs> uh, do you, what about... Uh, what about this? You know anything about any of that? Yeah, it's sand. It's, it's all it's over. Sa it's sand. I know you know what the blocks here. are. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was what you were asking. I mean, like, like, do I need an attorney for this? What about this? The you snowballs? You got nothing to do with any of that? Yeah, I throw a few snowballs now and then, but there's no harm in that. A, a few zombies, maybe a few sheep. Never I know people, you. Though. I know you and Doc are close. All right. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! Is that your lawyer? That's my dad, actually. <laughs> he has problem with his PC. <laughs> oh, I'll make it quick. I don't want to keep you all day. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody pranked me. Somebody put a big bomb in the sky of my arena, and oh, I disabled it. They did? This yes. Is, this is the first I'm hearing about this. It's the first you're hearing of it. Yeah, that sounds very interesting. Okay, that sounds... Well, I kind of believe you. <laughs> so, you know nothing about this. I, I I asked Etho what's going on, and he said he's been framed. Okay. He said he didn't do it. Somebody else must have done it. Hmm. You sound a little fishy. No, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't really know. I, I keep to myself. I'm, I'm a I'm a northerner. I, I like to keep my keep to my northern lands and stuff like that. So, mm. I, I don't really know what you're talking about. You well, don't ever well, what's, what, what's, what's, what's what you doing with that redstone torch there in the TNT? Take it easy, bro. <laughs> Take it easy. We're, listen, we're all armed here with, with listen, great armor. Just so. gotta put a little heat, you know. <laughs> I, I, after after the interview, I think you're innocent. Good. That's that's I, great. I think you're innocent. The viewers will the viewers will decide. But um, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt for the moment. Want to thank you for your time. Yeah. <laughs> With a couple of red, red stone repeaters. <laughs> and, uh, so, so, so I'm supposed to be, be thankful for some wood and some red stone some, And some wood blocks. Here Just, you go. You can have some, oh, no, some no, gunpowder. No, no. Yeah, there you, there you go. Hey, this is cool. Gun, we're, what we're do you got? Gunpowder. No, it's just uh, recreational juice. I, I smoke it sometimes, too. 
to, to just relax after a hard day's work. Just roll up a gunpowder joint and yeah. bam! Yeah, I, I would never make those those red and white and black things that you're holding. I mean, those never. are dangerous. Those those are like the the big green penis guys. They go kaboom. It's okay. dangerous stuff, like magic. Would ever do that to somebody? Exactly. I would never do that. I believe you. Good. Excellent. I believe you 100%. You know who I think did it? Nope. <laughs> Those stinking orange wool guys. <laughs> stinking orange wool guys. You know MC Gamer and Milby? Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, those guys are fishy. I'm, I've never trusted MC Gamer and, and Milby, to be honest. Yeah. I don't those trust are, them at all. Those, those are really fishy guys. I yeah, did, I yeah. did, I did uh, extend the brand, an olive branch though the other day and gave MC some, some lapis. So really, I, I, I hope nothing like that is going to happen to me. It wasn't like a uh, a bribe type. No, thing. no, no. It's just a just a friendly gesture. Really? Yeah. I take your word for it. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I'm totally innocent. <laughs> just for the record, I promise. Oh, sounds so guilty. <laughs> I have done nothing. I promise. I'm I'm just nervous. This is my first. This is my first interview. This is my well, first true. ever ever. Be- problem with the law You're, yeah but well, then again somebody... you guys are not really the law are you oh more than you know you are i've, oh. I've, I've heard the opposite actually yeah <laughs> that, that you guys are kind of some kind of mafiosos <laughs> like some kind of hey do you know hey. anything about that hey eh? hey eh? yeah yeah that's canadian talk now <laughs> that's not tough guy talk <laughs> Being interviewed with TNT and redstone torches in your face, that can be that can be a little high pressure. So I totally understand. Excellent. It's no problem <laughs> at all. Don't move. Oh, ah, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> are you are you the Milan taking these? No, oh, horrible... no, 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 no. I uh, didn't do it. I didn't do uh, it. No goodness. Goodness. Hope so. You're on Viking land now, so you watch out what you say and do. I will. I'll be careful. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you for the interview. I'm going to head off. I'm going to really put the heat on those orange wool guys. Yeah. Th- thank you for the four red stone repeat- <laughs> repeaters and the seven blocks of wood. Oh, um, no, my pleasure. Yeah. More where that came from. If uh, you got any more info. Yeah, maybe. yeah. I'm going to definitely keep that in mind for redstone repeaters and wood. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. If that Doc M guy ever, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know any Doc M guy. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Who's, who's that? No clue. That's a total lie. I know it's a lie. I've seen your videos. <laughs> okay, That's okay. okay. We, we're good friends, but but I don't know anything about TNT over your place. All right. I have no All right. clue. Just... There's, a, there's a lie in this interview. At least one lie. Yeah, so that, mark, you... mark it down. <laughs> mark it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Thanks. No problem. <laughs>